This presentation is horizontal division of deep learning applications with all to all communication on a multi FPGA system. I'm Hugo Emauchi from Keio University. This is abstract. I will introduce FIC, which is multi FPGA system for multi access edge computing, which is tightly connected, cost effective mid range FPGAs. And after that, I will explain conventional issue when we implement neural network, FP, neural network applications on multiple FPGA system. And desired fault and resource limitation of single FPGA are problems in CMM. And after that, I will introduce proposed method. Implementation method, all FPGAs compute the same layer at a time and share all results synchronously. For this method, and design scalability and reduced design fault are achieved. And evaluation, we achieve scalability and performance and power efficiency using our proposed implementation method and FIC multi FPG system. And this is background about multi access edge computing. Multi-access edge computing is migrating computing and computing resources on the cloud to the data center near the base station. For using multi-access edge computing, we can achieve power saving and low latency and anonymization. And multi-FPG multi system is suitable for multi-access edge computing. This is because low latency and low power and flexibility is required are required for multi access edge computing. So multi FPGA system is suitable for multi access edge computing. I will explain and previous FP, FP, multi FPGA systems. And conventional multi FPGA systems are like this. And this have uh, many defects about a high latency as it passes through the host CPU. And one FPGA resource, resource limitation can be a bottleneck. And high end FPGAs, which is connected each host, are costly. And this is another multi FPGA system, Microsoft Catapult. And this is specific for being, at least being such system. And so being pipeline processing make it less scalable. And each, each FPGA is a high-end FPGA, so a high-end FPGA is connected to a host, so it, this system is costly. This is our proposed multi-FPGA system. Tightly connected cost-effective mid-range FPGAs. And these FPGAs are connected circuit switching networks, which guarantee latency and bandwidth. And there is only one host CPU, and, and FPGAs are connected in expensive Firefly cable. This enables extension and scalability. And we can use this system like one large batch of FPGA. I will introduce FIC system. FIC is consisted of multiple special FPGAs, FIC SW, and host CPU. FPGAs are connected with circuit switching network using high-speed serial links. Each FPGA has a circuit switching module. By changing circuit switching module's parameter, we can change connections. Deep learning applications, communications are, can be estimated before execution. So this circuit switching network is effective for deep learning applications. And the figure on the right side is present FIC system. There are 24 FIC SW boards. I will explain a special FPGA board used in FIC system, FIC SW. FIC SW has strong feature in communication and switching. FIC SW has 32 high speed serial links, each have 9.9 .9 Gbps bandwidth, and have Kintex Sutra scale. And, and two 16GB DRAMs and Raspberry Pi 3. 
FPGA configuration bit file is sent by Raspberry Pi. Switching module in FPGA can change the destination through serial links. FICSW realizes circuit switching by static time division. In advance, we determine root before execution. This characteristic guarantees bandwidth communication delay. The root change is realized by changing the number of slots in the switch or writing to the buffer. This switch makes it easy to broadcast and multicast data. Our explain execution flow. First, we design HLS module for C++ functions, and after that, connect these modules to the switch switch module, and after that synthesis. And implementation on each FPGA using scripts, and after that, an input from the Raspberry Pi CPU. I'll explain conventional implementation method of CNN or multi FPGAs. Conventional implementation method is that each CNN layer is implemented in a separate FPGA. It's like, like a vertical division. The conventional method requires a design for each FPGA, so require, required much design effort. The number of FPGAs used for the for implementation is fixed according to the number of layers, so low flexibility and scalability. Our proposed method is like this, horizontal division. Each FPGAs computes and share a part of every CNN layer. Compute one layer in parallel and after that share the result with all to all communication. This method has the advantage of flexibility and reduce of design fault. The proposed method uses a common design file, which reduces the design fault. And the number of FPGAs used in the proposed method can be changed. Just change the parameter to complete the design for the number of FPGAs used. Therefore, the proposed method is scalable. The apparent disadvantage of this proposed method is that it requires all to all communication, data communication between FPGA boards. And so it is not suitable for traditional multi FPGA systems with a simple linear network. Here, we tried to apply the method to fix system which has a powerful network to enable efficient broadcasting. Our explain implementation, implementation modules. We implemented modules by HLS using C++ function. And there are almost three modules, first and communication module. And to achieve our proposed method, each module calculates only part of the loop, which is defined by board ID. And this mechanism can be applic applicable for any independent loops. A second and transmission module, storing data to the packets and and adding board ID to the header, and sending to the other FIC SWs using the broadcast mechanism. Third and receive modules, which store data to the to buffers by referencing the board ID in the packet number packet header. I will explain how to achieve all to all communication in FIC. Firstly, each FPGA computes only partial result. After that, broadcast results to all FPGA. The root is defined by switch parameter before, beforehand. Finally, each FPGA receives all result data and aggregates these results, and each FPGA go on to the CNN next layer. I will introduce our implemented applications. We implemented a 32 bit floating point linear inference phase. The reason why we choose such a small model is that um, big models 
can be reduced data size dramatically in FPGA implementations. So native 32-bit model is, we think, enough size to some extent. In implementation, uh, spread the input feature map in each layer. And each board computes a convolution now layer and a pattern of and fully connected layers. And broadcast all to all communications via a via FIC SWS STTM switch. Application modules in net are these. Raspberry communication module fit save weights on VLAN on FPGA. And convolutional fully connected module which calculate and broadcast um, port broadcast and um, data to other board. And transmitter and receiver module communicate with the switch module fits is static on FPGA. We implemented a big fully connected layer module, module for measurement maximum performance too. Processing element and input output double buffer and weight and bias buff buffer module and layer operator are implemented. In FC layer module, we can define PE's PE size freely and can estimate execution cycles. We can estimate FPGA resources before synthesis by this formula. We should change parameters according to the usable FPGA resources beforehand. Variation. There are, these are evaluation environments, HSRS2, Vivado HRS, and implementation 2, Vivado, and there are two FPGA type uh, on FIC SW. In Linet evaluation, using eight FPGAs achieved 7.5 times faster than a single FPGA. This indicates our proposed method has enough scalability. DSP is the bottleneck of FPGA resources. We could use enough FPGA resources across several FPGAs for, for using a resource prediction formula. We compared high-end CPU execution. And 12.6 times faster than the optimized software of a high-end CPU. This indicates our proposed method achieved enough low latency. In fully connected layer evaluation, achieved about 150 gigaops. VLAM and DSP is the bottleneck of FPGA resources. We could use enough FPGA resources across several FPGAs effectively. And performance power watt evaluation. FC layer evaluation achieves 7.2 gigaohms per watt, which is better than previous research, research with high-end FPGAs. And this means proposed method and fixed system can use multiple FPGA resources effectively. Conclusion uh, Introduced multi FPGA system FIC, tightly connected, cost effective mid range FPGAs, and FITIS, uh, FITIS uh, less cost, cost, costly, and good at broadcasting and communication. communication between FPGAs. And proposed CNN implementation method, computational and splitting mechanism of the old uh, communication mechanism, this method has the advantage of flexibility and reduce of design fault. And evaluation, we confirmed three characteristics 
or proposed method and system. For scalability, Linux evaluation shows that using eight FPGAs achieves 7.5 times faster than a single FPGA. And performance, and 12.6 times faster than high-end CPU optimized software. Third, power efficiency. FC layer evaluation shows 7.2 gigaops per watt, which is better performance per watt than previous research with high-end FPGAs. We achieved an efficient design method to run applications on fixed systems. Thank you.